What's up boys and girls, it is White Gamer. Today we have the post-patch winger built. So let's get started. For your position, you're going to use left winger or right winger. All up to you. The height, we're going to go with 5'10". Your weight, we're going to go with 147 pounds. Now, for the playstyle plus, the first one we're going to go with is going to be the quick step plus. This is going to allow for your pro to accelerate quicker. If you're chasing down the ball, it will get activated. So... Whenever you accelerate, this will kick in. And then next, guys, we're going to go with the first touch plus. Now, this one's really good. Not only so your pro doesn't take bad touches when you're getting the ball, but when you're going from the control to the dribbling, the transition will be much, much smoother. And it's really good for a winger. Now, from the regular play style, we're going to go with a finesse shot. As a winger, you should have this one. So you have the ability to do finesse shots from either outside the box or inside the box. Now, from the passing, I recommend the incisive pass. This is an out for the through balls to come out with accuracy and precision. The regular version of this works just fine. Now, for the second passing, guys, it all depends on how you play winger. If you're that type of winger that crosses a lot, then the whip pass is really good. If you don't really cross a lot, then I highly recommend the ping pass. When you do the R1 and X or RB and A, the ball will travel much quicker, and it's a bit more accurate if you didn't have it. So all up to you. Remember, you can also go with a whip pass if you're that type of winger that crosses. But we're going to go with a ping pass because it's really good. The next one we're going to go with is rapid. As you're running down with the ball, your pro won't take those heavy touches. If you don't use this play style, then your pro, as you're sprinting, will take those heavy touches. And it'll be really bad and easier for your opponent to steal the ball away from you. Next, we're going to go with technical. When you're doing the RB or the R1 dribbling, those turns that you do will be much, much smoother and precise. And it'll keep the ball very close to your feet. So it's really good for a winger. And then last but not least, guys, you have actually two options. You can use the relentless, which it got nerfed a little bit, but it's still good. This is going to help. You recover stamina at halftime or even extra time. Or you can go with the aerial, guys. You'll be surprised how good this playstyle is for a winger. If your goalkeeper or your AI keeper kicks it out wide to you, you'll have a higher chance of winning the header. So you can either go with aerial or the relentless for your last one. I would recommend the relentless because the stamina tends to go down pretty quick as a winger. So these are the playstyles and playstyle plus that we went with. Now, for the running style, guys, there's two options you can go with. You can go with the T-Rex. This is the one that I've been recommending the entire year for a winger. It has your wrist facing down. So when you're running with the ball or just jogging with the ball, it feels super agile. Or you can also use the Turtle. The Turtle is the Mbappe running style. So all up to you. Try it out which one you prefer the most. But I think the T-Rex has been very, very good this year for wingers running style. Now we have the skill tree, everyone. This works well for old gen and new gen. You're going to max out your pace, guys. You don't want to be a slow winger. Even in IRL, all the wingers are fast for the most part. So this will give you 93 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. Whether you're playing competitive or divisions, you're going to come up against fast bots or even fast wing backs or full backs that play that position. So you want to be a really fast winger. So we always want to max out the pace. Now from the shooting, guys. We are going to go with the weak foot and some shot power at the same time, guys, because there's going to be times where you're going to be inside the box and open. So why not have that shot power to the 80? And then for the other side of the shooting, we are going to get the five star weak foot. Now you have 83 finishing and 80 shot power. It's not the greatest, guys, but keep in mind you are a winger and you got the five star weak foot. You also got the finesse shot play style. So if you're ever inside the box or outside the box, Go for the finesse shot and it will most likely go in. Now, from the passing, guys, we're going to get curve. And then we're going to focus on the long passing. So get this entire long passing right here. Now, this will give you 80 long pass. And for some of you guys, might think it's slow. But guys, keep in mind, you'll have the incisive pass. So when you do a through ball with Y or triangle, it's still going to come out really good because of that play style. You know, you're not going to have crazy passing stats as a winger. So 80 passing is more than enough. You have 82 crossing if you're that type of winger that crosses. Or if you also went with the whip pass, it will help out with the crossing. And then 81 short pass is more than enough. And I think 84 curve is decent. It's not the greatest, but it's decent. Keep in mind, guys, there's also other important stats that we got to focus on. So this is more than enough for passing. Now, from the dribbling, you're going to get the Maestro archetype. Get all the agility, all the dribbling completely filled out. 
on this right side we're gonna get the links so you can boost up that ball control and balance and then you're gonna get this ball control and then make sure you get the other balance guys make sure the balance is two out of two now you have 95 agility which is great for a winger 92 balance is also very good i feel like a lot of wingers underestimate the balance the balance is going to determine how often your pro falls when you're being challenged by defenders or whoever else on the pitch so you always want to have some high balance then you have 92 ball control and keep in mind you also have that first touch plus so your first touches and your ball control is going to be very 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 good and then of course you have the 98 dribbling so that ball is going to stay straight to your feet the entire time and you also have that technical play style so when you do the rb and the r1 dribbling it's going to stay even much closer to your feet and those turns are going to be super smooth so this is how we went with the dribbling now for the physical guys you're going to get the strength on this right side we're going to get the jumping and then you're going to get this jumping right here and then listen carefully you're going to get this reaction so make sure that reaction says two out of two and then this reaction make sure it says two out of two now guys the reactions is extremely extremely important i say this in every single build because that's going to allow for your pro to feel much better on the ball or when you're about to receive the ball your animations will come out much much quicker so you do want to have some reactions guys then you also have 77 jumping which is actually pretty de decent for a winger 88 stamina that should be more than enough remember we also went with the relentless so at halftime your stamina bar will go up a bit since you have the relentless play style 66 strength is not the greatest but you have the high balance guys you have the high balance now we back out boys and girls you're going to be an 88 winger with 95 pace 77 shooting but from the shooting what really matters is the weak foot the finishing and some shot power 80 passing 95 dribbling which is probably the most important thing from a winger and then you have the 72 physical with the high reaction and high stamina this was the post patch winger belt try it out let me know what you guys think don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time